time of praise and worship. And yeah, Father God, yeah. just to, to come together and give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise and worship your name in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. We thank you for each one here that you'll touch our hearts and our lives, that we look to you in all things, Father God, that in all things you will get, get praise, you will get glory, and you will get the honor. We thank you, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, we're going to sing a song that goes, God has smiled on me, he has set me free. Amen. God has smiled on me, he's been good. To me. Amen. We're going to jump right in. Hopefully, Brother Eddie can find what key we're in. We may be in a different key, but uh, he can jump in right after us. Amen? Amen. 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 God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Standing, Brother Arthur is standing. Sister Marv, Brother Arthur, then Brother Rome. Amen. Um, I just like to um, thank the Lord for his um, blessings and his favor. I want to thank him just for um, getting us through um, another week and just for being here today. I'm, I'm grateful to be here today. So I'm just 
Amen. 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 Um, Brother Arthur. I want to give God glory and honor for being ahead of my life. I thank God for all of y'all for being here, to be in the presence of the Lord. I thank God for what he's doing in my life, how he's working through my life, and the people that he put in my life to uh, minister to me when I'm when I need minister to the pray when I when I can't pray for myself when I can't get a prayer through. So I just thank God for uh, for all of y'all and for being the God that He is to, to all of us. Amen. 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 Brother Ross. Uh, I just want to thank God. Thank you. Got your name, brother. Oh, my name is James Dennis Moore. This is my son, brother Moore. Hey, okay. My wife and I, we're from, well, I'm from Buffalo. She's from Rochester, New York. We're we're from North Carolina. We came up for the since uh -huh. COVID came down, so we got the glory and grace that we made it up here safe and sound. Uh, we Amen. belong to New Zion Missionary Baptist Church. We're not a perfect church, but we serve a perfect God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. So. Um, that was by way of uh, visitors, Brother Moore and Brother and Sister Moore, right? right? Mm -hmm. And you, you're originally from Buffalo. Correct. And she's originally from Rochester. Correct. We try not to hold that against her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now, but now you, you, you have moved to North Carolina? Yeah, you've been here about 15 years. Wow, praise God. Well, thank you for visiting. Were you invited? <coughs> My son. Oh, okay. James Moore. James Moore. All right, got it. I knew, I knew there was other chains more around here somewhere. <laughs> All right, All right, praise God. Thank you for coming. Thank you, man. Um, any other testimonies? Sister Rowe. I just want to thank God just for uh, waking me up this morning and letting me see another day. Amen. And I also want to thank him for, like, the situation, the trials that I'm going through. I just know that God is the good guy. Thank him for me. Uh, just trust in him. Amen. 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 Brother Jeff. Just, just thank God for, for just saving and keeping. Amen. 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 Well, we, we get into like the fundamental testimonies now. But we thank and praise God, not for the spectacular, but for what he's doing. Just the the plain things that he does for us that he didn't have to do, amen? amen. amen. Didn't have to do it, but he did, but he did, and he did, and I thank him. Amen. Brother Pete. Good morning, church. I want to thank God today for uh, giving me up for another day and bringing me here. I haven't been here for a while, and since the pandemic, I was here for uh, my new commitment to the Lord, but I want to thank God, the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. For, for having faith in me. And I want to have faith in them. Amen. 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 Good work, good work. Sister Barnum. Oh, you just there. All right. That's what you call uh, a living testimony. <laughs> so I'm here. Praise God. Amen. Um, all right. Going. Going. That's it for test. I'm gonna throw mine in there though. I thank God every day. Amen. You know, sometimes I wake up surprised. <laughs> um, heart attacks run in my family. Mm. And you know how much how much warning you get before you have a heart attack? How much warning do you get before you have a heart attack? Very little. Yeah, very little, or sometimes none. Sometimes you got the arm thing, and but a lot of times, and we all know it, we all know people that, oh, you know, they were sitting in front of the TV and that was it. I thank God. I'm pleasantly surprised for every day of life and I thank God for it. Uh, I think a lot of us know uh, people we grew up with, shot dead, stabbed, um, some other way. 
if it didn't happen to you, be thankful for every day of life. The Bible says, teach us to number our days. Number our days every day of life. I thank you for it. Amen? Amen. Um, time for our scripture reading. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Can everybody please stand? This morning, responsive reading will be coming from the book of Ephesians. We'll be doing Ephesians chapter 4. We'll be doing verses 4 through 14. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 through 14. You'll see a few more pages turn. And the writer begins. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One, one Lord, Lord, one faith, one, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. together that, that we this for be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of his word. Amen. 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 Okay, it's time for altar prayer. If anyone would like to come to the altar, feel free to come and kneel at the altar. Before you, Hallelujah. Lord, we put our hearts before you. Yes, 
And our hearts will cry out to you, Lord, that we need you. Hallelujah. Our hearts will cry out to you, Lord, that we love you. Hallelujah. And Lord, our hearts will say that, that we want to do the right thing. But Lord, sometimes we, we go through this thing called life and, and Satan has his way of throwing them fire on darks and, and throwing them things that just, just take us off the aim of you, take us off the, the course of where you want us to be, Lord. And we just ask you to forgive us for that, Lord. And, forgive us, Lord. Forgive Lord, we just ask you to to, to give us a mind to always look to you, Lord, to, to know what you did on carry, Lord. You, you died on the cross, Lord, but but you rose, Lord. You rose with that power, Lord. You, you rose in, in that grace to give us the strength to, to go through whatever we go through, Lord. But, but, Lord, we have to go through it through you. Help us to go through it through you, Lord. Help us to learn to look to you. Help us to learn to, to lean on you and fall on our knees and cry out to you, Lord, because we know our help come through you. Lord, we lift up our loved ones today that's hurting. Lord, help Lord. We put them before you, Lord. We just, Lord, in the, in the midst of, of us knowing where we need to be, where we need to say, Lord, help us to, to be that forerunner. Help us to be that person that, that they can look to, Lord. Help us to, to know what to say to them. To, Lord, just, we just cry for help today, Lord. And then, Lord, as we as we hurry to to the to the altar, Lord, we just we just can't thank you enough for what you've already done. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank we you, just Lord. thank you for your love and your grace. Yes. We thank you for your everyday attention, and, and Lord, even when we're going astray, you still have your ways to to still look out for us. And we just say thank you. Yes. We lift up the sick. We lift up the seniors today, Lord. That's that's hurting. We lift up Mother Mary to you. Lord, we lift up Sister Melly and her family to you at this time, Lord. We ask you to be with them and the Reed family. We just lift them up to you, Lord, and just ask you to have your way in their lives today, Lord. Yes. We continue to lift our past up to you, Lord, and we ask you to continue to strengthen them and give them the zeal, Lord. And as he brings forth the word today, Lord, we pray you prepare our hearts to receive that word, Lord, and, and help us to be better and stronger and doers of that word, Lord, and help us to love you more. We thank you, we praise you, and we be careful to give you the praise, oh, give you the glory, Lord. Yes, Lord. give you the yes, honor in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Those of you who know that, would you sing that with us? I really love the Lord. One of the goals about singing some of our songs is they really express the sentiment of our hearts. And the choir members make it to the choir. Sing that with me, please. I really love the Lord.
Testament, it said we pray that God's blessings and glory and honor right. that they belong to Him. Amen. Right. And we make sure He gets the glory. glory. Amen. 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 Did every did everybody get a, a uh, bulletin this morning? Those of you who came in, I know there were some of you who were here in Sunday school. You might not have got a bulletin. Sister Bardo, if, if you didn't get a bulletin, would you hold up your hands? Here's a couple of hands up here, Sister Bardo. Any bulletin is an insert. I'm going to read just a little bit of the insert. It's a part of a hopefully a tentative goal. I don't know if you all paid any attention. Here's, here's one more here, Sister Bardo. This is the fifth Sunday of the fifth month of this year. That means next Sunday will be the first Sunday of the first half of this year. And excuse me, it'll be the last first Sunday of the first half of this year. The whole year of 20 and 21 will be half over next month. Amen? And so that really means, saints, that we need to ask God to give us some vision and some wisdom as we look forward to a new season. So, I don't know, if in, your, in your bulletin, did you see a letter from the pastor? Yes. Okay. The letter from the pastor, you can read it in its entirety a little later on, but I'll just share a couple of thoughts from it as we begin uh, our worship service today. So, dear Midtown Bible Church family, as we continue to find our way through this season of uncertainty, we will continue to trust God. We are so thankful how he has kept us thus far. The Bible teaches that the people without vision perish. So, so here is the goal. You can read the rest of it on your own. Is that as we end, as we get close to ending the first half of this new year, and really, I'd like to say, I don't know, y'all, I'm being honest, I don't know, maybe the, hopefully the latter half of this whole pandemic issue, I really believe it's time that we ask God to help us to assert ourselves and look forward to a new season of ministry. Amen? Amen? And that really means that as we go towards the summer school, our children will be out of school. Um, Bill, when will y'all be out of school? The 25th. The 25th? The 25th is the last day. 25th of June? Yeah, 25th of June. 25th of June will be the last day. So that means we've got, I guess, essentially one more month for kids to be out of school. And that means technically, or in a practical sense, summer is upon us. That also means, y'all, that if we want our children to be positively engaged, we need to ask God to help us to have some vision and some plans and some hopes for them. I don't know if you know this, but our kids are being victimized by a crazy world today. And so we're hoping that I'm not necessarily saying that it needs to be done, everything needs to be done in the church, but maybe by the church we can begin to think through and plan some activities and, and issues that will, will involve and engage our children and our families. Uh, I had someone to help me make some suggestions that the women help devise a luncheon, maybe once a week or so, that we look for, you all look for as ladies, maybe a spa day, tea day, a day to walk to or through the marina, a day to, and this is interesting y'all, we just uh, we just helped Sister Melanie say goodbye to her mother, and it was interesting, where her mother was located was on the back side of Forest Lawn, and it, we drove through Forest Lawn, it's beautiful in Forest Lawn, I mean there are ponds and creeks and I mean, there's all these beautiful sights, and so, and that's right down the street. So maybe a walk through Forest Lawn, maybe uh, a guide through one of the local museums. All I'm saying is that there is a lot of opportunities for us to ask God to give us some wisdom about not only doing ministry but having good fellowship, having a season of looking forward to some fun and fellowship and growth as a church. The Lord says the same. You'll hear a little bit in this in the message today. Y'all, we are either in the business of doing what God says do or doing our own thing. Let me say that again. We're in the business of either doing what God says do or doing our own thing. 
Here's what that means in a practical sense. I won't be long. Is that we will either be in the business of doing the great commission, going out and telling people and encouraging people, compelling people to come to Christ. Oh, and, and that's called being fishers of men. Or we'll be keepers of the aquarium. Which simply means, you know, just kind of make you do. Hey, you know, I'll show up when something is happening. The, the problem with that is oftentimes our children and even our families become, become those who fall between the cracks. And so I'm asking you as we look forward to a new season and, and, and the summer season that we begin to put our heads together, our hearts together, and look for ways to, uh, to, just, to just grow and, and mature and build up the body. Not just our children and not just the women, but men. Those of you who understand the value of being men, meaning God has given us leadership roles, leadership responsibility, that we'll ask God. I mean, one of the things we always do this time of the year, we always have a spring cleaning. I would love for this Saturday for the men that could to join with me here and maybe we take the plastic off the windows and remove the old uh, the rugs that are here for salt and just kind of spruce up. And I just really believe, guys, that if we'll do that, God's going to bring us closer together and God's going to make us more of a winsome, winning church. Amen. Amen. I think that this is a great season that if we're going to come out of the old traditions and customs and spark anew, this is a great time to do that. Amen. It's not, it's not for just a few of us, and, and maybe that means it, it won't be that difficult for us to begin again to work on some of these things. There's bike riding events, walking events, uh, cookout events, uh, karaoke events, karaoke nights. There's all kinds of things we can do. And I just want to ask you to help us, help me as the pastor and help uh, us as the church to begin to look for some ways where we can spark some renewed sense of enthusiasm, a renewed sense of focus and vision. So can I get an amen right there, y'all? Amen. Can we consider doing some of those things? Yes. The Bible says without vision, we perish. So let's ask God to give us some vision, to give us some planning. I mean, we've got some great bike riders in the church that can help us get bikes. Hi, Brother Peter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've got some great walkers in the church that help us walk around the park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think God has put within us the capacity to do some of these things. We just need to pool our thoughts, our hearts, our heads together, and as we look forward for the future, to begin to do this. I, I wouldn't mind... Uh, Asking uh, one of you men to join with me in a lawnmower ministry. Somebody sold me another lawnmower this week. And, and where we get our boys and we go most of yards for a little extra change. Well, Amen. Or maybe we'll do it for the love of God. Amen. Amen. We'll have to find out they're broke. Well. <laughs> one way or the other, y'all, we need to do some things that I think will enrich and enhance us as a church. So I would ask you, I, on the back of your letter, if you want to, you can make some notes. Hi, huh? this is uh, Sister such and such, Brother such and such. Pastor, let's, have you ever thought about this? So let's pray about this. And that leads me to the last announcement. Last month, we did not do our day of prayer. Or I should say this month, we did not do. We did it last month. Let's do it, since we didn't do it this month, if y'all would be of the mind, how about we do it the first Thursday of this month? Mm -hmm. That we just make it a day of prayer from yeah. 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening, mm -hmm. Thursday, this coming Thursday, we just come for prayer. Many of you have done that already where you came in at your convenience at the opportune time and you maybe made your way to the altar. Some people just sat in the seat and they prayed. Some people went to the conference room. I would, I would encourage you and ask of you so let us, we're going to talk a little bit more about that in your sermon. Let's just become a, a place where prayer goes out all the time. And, and, and even develop a prayer list that has prayer requests. And on the other side has praise reports where God has answered our prayer. Amen. 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 So I'm asking you, let us us do these things. Uh, uh, a beloved saint said to me just yesterday about a very, very large church. And they said, you know what, we're going to we're going to start looking for another church. And I asked, why? And they said, because churches become so unfriendly and, and routine. 
you got to give your temperature. You know, I mean, they, they say God jump through all these hoops. And, and, and saints, my prayer is, is that we will never be that kind of a church. That when they see Brother Jerry or Sister Bardo or whoever is on the door, that they are welcomed in. And then when they shake your hand, I know we're not shaking hands right now and we're not doing a lot of that stuff, but I just pray that we will ask God to help us to be the kind of church that welcomes people. We're actually looking for a rug. Believe it or not, y'all, we look for a rug that said, welcome home. And so we're still looking for that. And if you've got some ideas as to how we can do some of these things, we just pray that God will be pleased with our efforts. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to ask our officers to make ready that we might honor God in our giving. And saints, I still say this with everything that's in me. If, if, you, if you want God to bless you in your living, honor God in your giving. And watch and see what God will do. Amen? I'm going to ask if everyone will stand. We're going to trust that we'll have some good giving music. Or we're going to have someone to help us with the, uh, with the debit card machine. And I would ask that you would just be honest. I believe this, show with all of my heart, that you cannot outgive God. Amen. I believe that with everything that is in me. That same believer said to me yesterday, I, I thought I had got a stimulus check, but I realized I'd already got my stimulus check. She said, the IRS found out they made a mistake <laughs> and, sent, and sent her another $5,000. Wow. Yes. I just know you can't outgive God, y'all. Oh, you cannot outgive God. So I'm going to ask you to make sure that you are one of those saints who honors God. A good beginning place is to honor God with the time. Amen. For those of us who've grown and matured, that really just was the place we started out in our giving. We moved on beyond that. Yes. We give God more than ten. All right. Follow the leading of the ushers from the rear of the church right around, and then we're going to trust God to bless us with the remainder of our service.
hearts. Hallelujah. That every praise, every praise, be to your glory and honor. Yes. So, Father God, we ask you to take this offering and that it be a glory to your name, to your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Whoa! 